That was a tough one at Maryland Stadium here in College Park. This is the Big Dog Post Game Show. I'm Wayne Viner, Jack Rothenberg, Cordell Woodland joining in. Welcome in. It's thank first you, thank time you. on the Post Game Show. Appreciate it. Uh, you've heard Cordell on the Wide World of Wayne podcast and on the Sports Maven this morning. Jack spent most of the game in the press box. Terps lose it. 34-28 to Indiana. Maryland drops to three and four. I'll go with the press box view. What'd you see up there, Jack? Uh, I mean, it was a lot of ugly, ugly throws from Piggy again. But uh, the running games sure looked good. Over, uh, over 150 yards rushing. But uh, Piggy throws a pick late and it uh, seals the loss. Direction: the ball to 43 is enough for a Maryland first down. Cordell. Yeah, this is, uh, similar to what he said. It was a up and down game for Maryland all day. The running game definitely showed up. Uh, the game ended with two turnovers with Maryland on the Javon Leak fumble deep in their territory and the piggy interception to seal the game. So Maryland just still can't seem to get out of their own way. On the other hand, the bend but don't break. Maryland gives up a ton of yards but doesn't really defensively. Uh, make the killer mistake. They stay in the game. Offensively, it was up and down, but it was better than it was at Purdue. You could have won the game, and I told you guys to make sure you had your cell phones out because something crazy could happen at the end. Or if the ball finds the right receiver there, somebody in a black jersey instead of a white jersey, could have been a wild celebration. But as usual of late, it doesn't happen for the Terps. Javon Leak was fantastic. Piggy off and on is good enough. He's exciting. Defense with a, a slight adjustment bringing Nick Cross in as a starter allows um, 25 Antoine Brooks to float a little bit and make some of those signature plays. But you can't do this giving up. Check that scoreboard again. How many yards? Or they take it off already. 520, 520. total yards, yeah. yeah. You, you just can't do this giving up 520 yards. Uh, we will be back here in a moment. Of course, you have to run off to the press conference. Um, this is the Big Dog Post Game Show. We'll be back after this commercial. This is Mason Viner. Listen to the Young Terps podcast on CapitalSportsBlog.com and TerpTalk.com, the number one rated Maryland sports podcast. If you've been hurt in a truck crash, call the Jackledge Law Group. We have decades of experience handling truck crashes. We recognize issues unique to trucks, including black box findings and DOT regulations. We find insurance others don't know exists. Some think the only coverage is with the truck, yet we've found millions more insurance with the broker. It's important to collect information, find representation immediately. Truck cases are complex. If you've been hurt in a truck crash, call 855-BIG-DOG-1 right now. Back here on the field at Maryland Stadium, to our left, right off the camera, there's still about 100 recruits because uh, this is still a great place to play football. Loxley's going to get it done here. Uh, guys, running game, what would you see with that? I thought the blocking was good up front. It allowed uh, Javon Lee to get a, a bunch of big runs. There was that one 60-yard rushing touchdown that he had, which uh, Maryland's been able to get a lot of those this year. We've had over five 50-yard plays. Um, yeah, that was, that was basically it. It's good. Uh, defense did some good things, although Jalen Ramsey, I'm sorry, Peyton Ramsey, right. looked fantastic at times. Well, the way he was running around, he looked like he was as fast as Jalen Ramsey a couple times. But, yeah, the defense had their moments uh, up and down. This was maybe the best game I've seen from Antoine Brooks today. He was all over the field. Like you said, them allowing him to float around definitely helped uh, the defense today. Mm -hmm. And uh, and Chance Campbell, that middle linebacker, man, he made a lot of plays too. So those those were the two standouts to me on the defense on the defensive end, and they played good enough to win the game today. I, I agree, and they, yet they gave up right. first down after first right. down. Uh, the passing game, they made some throws, especially at the end of the first half. I thought Maryland was going to get out of here 21-20 with the lead. They don't. Indiana scores as the clock starts to tick down. Big pass on the left sideline, scooped out of the air. Mm -hmm. It's tough to see. Uh, going to Minnesota next. 
Got any feeling? We don't get to see a lot of the Gophers right. back east, but I'm heading out there on Thursday, and you get to see the Vikings of the Redskins, and then uh, Minnesota hosts Maryland at 3.30 on Saturday. Um, do you feel we played better tonight? I think we definitely played better tonight. We made some strides on the offensive side of the ball. As we uh, saw on the last possession of the game, we started to move the ball down the field. We kept saying, oh, that we still have a chance, we still have a chance. But then we start throwing the ball down the field further, and we uh, come up with another interception. Uh, yeah, I mean, the, all, the, today was definitely a better day for Maryland. Um, this was the closest game all year at Capital One Field. Uh, it would have been great That's for true. Maryland to pull, uh, to pull it out. Mm -hmm. But the the things, the end, the 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 penalties are killing Maryland on both sides of the ball. It definitely yep. hurt them today. Uh, they got to find a way to get the big play going in the passing game. The running game is clearly there, but until they get the big plays going in a passing game more consistently, the offense will continue to struggle. All right, before we go in for the postgame presser, Piggy, 17-27, 210 yards, two touchdowns, a last pick. Javon Leak gets 23 carries, 158 yards. Dante Demas, five catches, 82. Chig had five catches. Um, everybody else was in the single digits on those catches. And then, uh, you know, Peyton Ramsey had a bit of a career there. Yeah. So that'll do it for this evening. We will see you after the press conference. Uh, we'll be, I will be on uh, 980 AM in DC and 105.7 FM on the post game show with Mike Popovic. And we'll be back with Turp Talk on Wednesday night on 1300 CBS Sports Radio. I'm Wayne Viner for Jack Rothenberg. For Cordell Woodland, uh, we'll see you from the field after the Minnesota-Maryland game next Saturday. Good evening.